Good afternoon to all our Kababayans out there. This is Jovi Kalma and welcome to another exciting show business portion here at CPR TV. But I would like to say and greet everyone a happy, happy 2012. It's New Year and we're very so excited and thrilled about the new year and and everything that comes with it so today we have a very special segment as we have special guests and i'm so thrilled we are right here at the twin rings in buffalo grove please help me welcome the very amazing wow they're like really pair skaters and re they're really champions by heart please help me welcome the bronze medalist from Estonia, the talent cup, is that what you call? Help me welcome Jessica Kalalang and Zach Zudu. How are you, Jessica? How are you? Oh, and how about you, Zach? Good, I'm good. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Well, how do you feel about that 2012 is here? Are you, are you excited? Yes, we are very excited and we have nationals in a few weeks, so we're really getting ready for that. And just for the information of all our televiewers, Jessica, Kalalang right here is a Kababayan. So she's born and raised here in Chicago or Illinois as, as we all know, but she's Filipino by heart, right Jessica? Yes, I am. Okay, Jessica, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. And just to share to all our televiewers, Jessica has been skating since you were five, correct? Yep. Yes, since I was five. All right, so I mean, what influenced you to do this, um, you know, figure skating? My grandma actually put me into figure skating because I was really bored at home. I always sat on the couch and really did nothing. And then I came and stepped on the ice, and from that moment, I loved it. So, have you tried any other sports aside from figure skating when you were growing up? I've wanted to, but I really wanted to stay with skating. Wow, and and I know that you have started when you were like you're competing also like the single, and now you're 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 competing for the pair skating, correct? Yes, pair skating is a lot different than single skating. Can you can you tell me what's the difference between the two? Single skating, you're by yourself, and you can change stuff when whenever. And when you're with a pair, an, another person on the ice, you have someone to talk to, so it's a little more relaxing, and it's a lot more fun for me. Wow, and I know that. Zach, you're, you just competed, or you, you, it's like a new partner for you, right, Jessica? Like you just, I mean, how long have you been in, in connection in terms of the figure skating? Um, we've been together for about a year and a few months, actually. Wow, and you already won some competition out there. I mean, it's like basically it's really hard to maintain like a certain kind of camaraderie, you know, with a partner. Do you agree with that, Zach? Um, I mean... We're with each other all the time, so we just do the best that we can to, you know, deal with each other. As <laughs> well, I would like to know more about Zach, too. You're not originally from Chicago. Can you tell us more about yourself? I was uh, born in California, but when I was three, we moved to Las Vegas, Nevada, where I was raised until I was 16. And how old were you when you started figure skating? Um, I was three. Three years old? I can't believe that when you're three, I mean, you can, you can eventually enroll into a, like a former class. Yeah, I mean, we don't do much when you're three, but you, you try. And then, uh, you know, you just keep on getting more and more into it as you go, and I fell in love with it, so. And how, how many hours do you put into, into this kind of, you know, competition, into sports? Like, how, how does school, you know, is treating you in terms of this career? Um, I went to public school when I was in Chicago, and when I moved to California, I became homeschooled. So the school goes around my skating schedule, but I definitely make time for it. I know that you're, you've been skating since when you were young, and you have tried other sports as well, right? Were you like a gymnast? I mean, correct me. Did you try any other stuff too? I mean, do you, are you like musically inclined or anything like that? Um, I do skating. I do stuff that helps me with skating, like ballet, Pilates, yoga, all that. But aside from figure skating, I mean, um, so you're homeschooled. How about you, Zach? I mean, are you um, are you still in school too? I mean, how do you how do you maintain your um, your career at the same time and going to school? Um, I'm off right now, but I'm going to be starting college next year. So it's it's going to be interesting because we have I've never had to deal with that college and skating at the same time. But we'll we'll figure it out. Well, speaking of college, okay, the college education, I mean, what do you want to be? I mean, what, what course are you um, thinking of taking when you decided to go to college? 
Um, uh, definitely something that has to do with sports. I don't think I could be like a desk person um, because I'm just so active all the time. So probably I wanted to be like an athletic director or something maybe. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so it's, it's, so it's like for Jessica, I know that it's still going to be a long way. Um, okay, but then I mean is there like um, like a vision that you would like to be aside from you know to excel you know aside from excelling into figure skating what do you want to be you know when you when you go to college um, I might want to be a doctor or something to do with sports because I like to be active as well oh wow what kind of doctor you would like to be a pediatrician oh you love kids yeah. <laughs> do you have like any particular of uh, um, idols that you can say that influenced you why you jump into this kind of career um, when I first started skating, I really looked up to Michelle Kwan because she was always on top all the time and she had so much power when she skated and was really inspirational to watch. What about you, Zach? Um, you know, when I started, it was, uh, and still, it's Scott Hamilton. He, um, he's an, an amazing skater technically, but he's also very expressive and he can, he can get the crowd really into the program, so that's a goal for every skater. Wow, I know that, you know, you know, I met some of the skaters through some of the Olympic champions in the past too. And and, and I, I can't really wait to see you guys, you know, like really skate on the ice and, and, and all that. And I know you have won some several competitions in the past and I know you're gearing to, you know, to jump and join the Nationals, right? Can you tell us more about the Nationals so we can probably invite all our televiewers to support you for the U.S. team? Um, there are several, there are three different sections which consist of about 20, 15, 20 states and um, they all compete and the top four teams go to nationals and the top 12 compete in the best, the best in the world. Wow, and I'm going to wish you good luck with that. Of course, we're all going to be cheering for you. I mean, it's not only because we're all here in the U.S., but of course, Jessica Kalalang is our Kabayan, and I'm so proud that I'm one of those few people who meet, you know, who, is, who was able to interview you on TV, you know, because you're, you're Filipino, and so, so proud. You're a pride of our nation. But then again, I know there are like other two skaters that are also Filipino, but how do you feel about them, that they're not competing for the U.S., but they would like to compete for the Philippines? I mean it's a great opportunity to compete for the US and it's also a great co opportunity to compete for the Philippines so it really just depends on what they really want to do and what how their support system works. Wow okay that's that's very well said but of course we, was, we will gonna wish them good luck too you know all because they're our work of violence and they're also competing and representing our country no matter what right? Do you have like a New Year's resolution I would like to hear from you. My New Year's resolution is just to keep doing what I'm doing and be happy with whatever choice that I make. Just just to keep skating the, the way we've been skating and just keep on improving. I don't really have like a New Year's resolution that I want to change about myself or anything, but just trying to continue going forward. How long do you think you'll get to be a figure skater? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, fr from the last Olympic champions, they were in their mid-30s, so Hopefully we last that long and our bodies continue to hold up, but uh, I mean I'd like to be skating for a long time from now, you know. I plan on skating for as long as I can until I can't move anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit, girl. I love it. But just one personal question. Have you been to the Philippines? Yes, I have. I went there for a family wedding. Wow. And how, 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 how do you find Philippines? Do you, do you have any plans of going back? Um, I'd like to go back because I know I have some family over there as well. Well, it's such an honor for us from Chicago Philippine Reports TV and Vi Times Magazine to have you featured in our New Year's Day special for my show with Pinoy segment. So thank you so much, Jessica. You know, I'm so chilly here, <laughs> so chilled because we're here by the, by the ice rink. Thank you so much, Zach. So this is Jovi Calvin signing off with the phenomenal and awesome big figure skaters. I can't wait to watch them again for the Nationals. We're going to cheer on to Jessica Kalalang and Zach Zulu. This is Jovi Kama signing off and I'm going to see you all next week. Have a blessed Sunday everyone. Bye for now.